happening. The time has come to fit the pop top roof. And there it is. Gone for the scenic canvas. Um, I haven't stuck the wind deflector on yet. And these bonding down, I'm going to get the roof wrapped and the wind deflector wrapped before I stick it. But yeah, in this video, we'll be showing you how to fit this roof. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What's up YouTube, how are you all doing? Uh, welcome back to the next episode of my van build. Today I'm going to be fitting the pop top roof, finally. I picked it up last week but it's been nothing but rain, rain, rain. So I haven't been able to do it. Today it looks a lot, lot cloudy but not supposed to rain. So we're just going to go for it. If it rains, it rains. What's the holes there? There's nothing we can do about it. So, so far all I've done is take a look up here. There's a... Uh, is what the grab handles were on. Let's see what was up there. So that was fixed up there like that. I've drilled out the pop rivets, take them down. There is also one the driver's side, but the strengthening bar goes up here, and runs along the top of the roof, and goes to that side, so they need to come off. I think somehow we'll have to adapt them to get the grab handles to go back on, but we'll deal with that later. Um, what else have we done? We have cut the, the bond, like a mastic that bonds the strengthening bars to the roof skin. And well, you can see that. But yeah, we took them off all the way through. Just get it prepared, ready for the skin to come off. But uh, to do that, I used, what did I use? Was it to use the old hammer and scraper. That's what I've done. And just put it up against it, give it a couple of knocks. And it just went through really easy to be honest i thought it was going to be hard but it wasn't i did try it first to use the reciprocated saw but it was just a bit of a headache and getting a little black like dust everywhere it's a bit more of a nightmare i find it easier with the hammer and scraper um also <coughs> sorry we are uh knock this one down a bit we've got a strengthening bias when we take these out we put a new bar in go another way along the van so this comes out because it needs to sit in here. Well, we just knocked it down a bit. Some people take them out, but I thought it's pointless. Just knock it down a little bit. Uh, the opposite side's slightly different where the sliding door is. That, uh, there was one on here, one of these brackets were on here. I've drilled the pop rivets out, taken that off, and just bent this metal over so slightly, just so this bar can fit in here. I might have to knock it a little bit more, but we'll wait and see when we put the bar in. Um, I think that's it for the inside of the van. Done a bit of prepping just to try and stop all the crap going everywhere. I think that's it for inside and we're going to take a look up on the roof. Right, we're now up on the roof. In the front of the van. Now where you can see my pencil mark. Sort of drawn it out. I actually get these marks, we've got to come. We've got to measure the distance of the windscreen to find the centre, so come over here, so over this side, get the centre, then we come back 450mm, which brings us here, and then I've also, I've got my level, once I find my centre there, obviously a level's no good, I just need a straight edge, the band's not straight is it? Yeah, I find the centre mark on my level, put the level on the mark, and then get a reference point either side. You don't see this windscreen here, it's not straight. You get your reference point, I come down by those ribs in the roof, so I know I'm in the same spot either side. I measure up to your level, and make sure the measurement, the distance is the same either side, and then that, in theory, should be straight. So then I've drawn a line going across, got my centre, and you come out, I think it's 12 and a half inches from the centre right, either side, then that's your point. And then I've gone round the rest of the van, round the sides, you come in from this gutter edge, 60 millimetres, do that all the way round, then the gutter side, and then at the rear, you come back from this edge, 
16 inches. Do the same as you've done on the front. Find your centre, get your level, find a reference point either end, and make sure the distance is the same. And that should give you a nice straight edge. Again, 60 mil all the way around. And then, to get to this point here, if you go past your line here, and then get your, your measurement from there to the, 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 from there to there, which is on a piece of fiberglass, to make that shape. I think the measurement was, oh, I can't remember that, it's 480 mil. So, you get your tape on that edge at 480 swinging the tape round until it hits that point as soon as it hits that line that'll be where you're going to that'll be your point so this should be the right shape we'll find out when we start cutting which I'm going to start doing right now all right guys so we've protected the van before cutting the roof off obviously don't want to damage any of the paintwork or anything my issue is it keeps raining so I'm going to hang in there five minutes and then I'm going to get cut in, rain or no rain.
Right, so we've peeled the roof off. Now we're going to cut out the strengthening beams. Took that one out there already. I'll show you on this one. I'll cut this one out now. Use it in. Reciprocated saw. Here's the roof skin cut out. Sorry about the wind, a bit windy today. Let um, me just explain to you them measurements again. So we went into the windscreen, stay here, back 450 mil, 450 millimeters. And you find your center point, come out 12 and a half inches each side. And then you can go from here back 16 inches, find your center point again across and that will give you your points on each corner and then it was 60 millimeters from the edge of the inside gutter in all the way around because this is a long wheelbase version you don't take the last strengthening beam out of the back of the van so on the rear you go from the, the rear of the van you come back in 16 inches find your center point and go out but that would leave the last uh, strengthening beam in at the back so that wants to be cut tight up to the strengthening beam um, also you can see on the time lapse I disappeared for five minutes into the van but I went into the van and drilled up where these strengthening beams are so when I was going around with the jigsaw I wouldn't hit them and I stopped carried on and then I come back to this after and cut it out with a grinder because the jigsaw I think is with the strengthening beams it would have been too much for the jigsaw to take so we've done it like that and then cut the strength and beams out with the reciprocated saw after. So yeah, that was the measurements. Or you could have done it the other way, how I said. Get your centre point here and then measure the fibreglass that's this shape on the inside edge. Find out the measurement of that and get your tape on that point and swing it round until it hits this point. And that should be the same as the 16 inches. But yes. To be fair, it's pretty simple, I think. If you've got a bit of DIY knowledge, you'll be able to do it. A bit daunting, cutting your roof off your van, especially if your van costs you a lot of money. But if I can do it, I think anybody can do it. With a little bit of DIY sense, it's not hard. It's more frightening. But hey, we've done it now, the roof is off. We'll see uh, how it goes. Right, so uh, we've cut the hole. We've taken out the strengthening beams, cut all them back, went round with a file all the way round, filed all this, sharp edges, don't want no sharp edges, and then gone round after with some white hammer right, just to uh, stop it from rusting, you don't want it to rust, and it will rust. Yeah, I've just gone round with the hammer right, put the strengthening bars in here. So I've got to put a fix in the back one. I've drilled all those, but I line those up and drill them. Same both sides. And we've also put the strengthening bar in at the front. 
So I've got to put two more bolts in either side. Oh, it's just to hold it in place for a minute. I'll just get the roof on because it looks like it's about to rain. And that's what we should be doing next. We've got to measure the scissor hinge that goes here. The first bolt goes on the last bolt of where the roof rack would be. And then I need to measure the distance on the hinge to make another hole and put a rivet nut in there, which I'm about to do right now. You should actually use a rivet nut tool. So you put your desired end on, we've got M8, the rivet nut on, it's got a thread in it, or M8 bolt. Open the handles right up, get the rivet on there, nice and snug, place them in the hole. All the handles up. And I see you've got a nice thread locked in that's not going anywhere, very secure. Right, so I've got a bit ahead of myself without recording anything. So I think where we last were was putting this hinge on. I have to rivet that in for that bolt there. And we measured on this hinge. Sorry, I can't. From the centre of that end, centre of this hole, to the centre of that one, which was 22 inches, I think. So then they can move about to adjust it, and then when you've got it in position, you put one through there and that'll lock it. So anyway, we've got this fire, we've got the roof on, I have my daughter and my partner help me. The roof's on. I haven't put the canvas on yet, still got to do that. Held down with straps. Um, what else have we done? We've put the fiberglass on. That hides all the edges. That back panel was a nightmare, but the rest of it was fairly easy. We used three bits of timber going across this canvas from one side of the other to the other one at the front one at the back one in the middle and that helped it push right over because didn't have a lot of room underneath to screw up so that helped it that kept it in place I didn't need anyone to help me didn't keep moving or anything um, the front piece I did put the headlining back up before I put this in and drawed around the headline in because that needs to be cut out and I've taken it back down. Fix this part down. And I think next we will be screwing the canvas on. Also, I went through the trouble. This is what holds the canvas down. And on the rear, you've got the ribs of the roof. So rather than just going straight through the centre of the plaster, I would have used my heat gun but I couldn't find it, so I used my Mrs. hairdryer and we've just heated it up and sort of formed the shape of that plastic to follow the roof. Hopefully that keeps it a bit extra sealed, it only took me an extra 10 minutes. A bit more pride in my work. So next we'll be screwing the canvas down. Right viewers, so everything was going well. Put the back piece on. That happened screwed these corners down because I still need to tuck that edge around. Same the other side. Anyway, put all this on nicely. I had my partner helping me do this bit. She was putting it and I was trying to screw it with one of these self-tapping screws. And then the drill slipped from the screw and has gone straight through the side of the canvas. Luckily, I had already made a mistake before and didn't set the height of the roof. I just put it to as high as I could possibly get it, which is not how you do it. You measure from, let me show you. So you measure from corner of the roof, up here, see that, down to the top of the door shut, yeah, 
so I didn't do. I've now measured it, and luckily, if I take this back off, which is a bit of a nightmare, it will give me some slack, because the roof's too high anyway, and I should be able to pull it under, and problem solved, thank God. But, go careful, because the end of that went straight through the side of the canvas. I was thinking of doing, using, uh, these type of soft tappers, with a nut end. I thought it would look untidy, it's too big of a head. So instead, I'm going to go around, pre-drill all the holes, and then screw them in by hand with the soft tapping screws. And hopefully, it can't damage anymore. So we'll take all that off and we'll start again. When fitting this plastic trim that holds down the canvas, so I've already started carpeting, so I can't show you all of it. This is the front of the van, really you want to start at the rear. Again, I can't show you because it's been carpeted. But you want to start in the center at the rear of the van and work your way out either side. Come down the sides and then work your way all the way to the front. And you should lose the slack in the taper because the front end of the canvas is slightly tapered, so you should lose it there. I would show you down here, but I've already started carpeting. I keep getting ahead of myself about filming. I've already started that. But yeah, when you do that, I've done the screws uh, 100mm apart, but I put in the screws 200mm apart, all the way down the sides, both sides of the van. So obviously starting at the back, all the way along, and then 200 mil apart down the sides and then I went back through and done them 100 mil apart and pulled that extra little bit of slack through and it seems to have went all right I don't know how well it looks on the camera but it does look pretty good so yeah just make sure you put enough screws in them keep them it looks like it's too many but to be fair there's a lot of wind and weight pulling against it I would put as many in there as possible And that was my pop top roof video. I hope this was helpful to people. Um, if you subscribe, I should be doing a lot more build to this van. I've got the rock and roll bed to go in, the kitchen to go in, the floor to go in, the side panels to go in, the night heater. I think the list goes on to be fair. There's plenty to do. The swivel base to go down. I've got a sliding swivel base to go to the passenger seat, which you can't see because it's full of carpet. The whole van is a complete mess, to be honest. So I do need to have a tidy up before I do anything else. It's just a rush to get this roof done because of the weather is on and off. One day it was roasting, the next day it's pouring down with rain and wind. So just out of battle with the elements. And But yeah, please subscribe. I hope this has been helpful to you. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I forgot to mention about the, the gas struts. So where the, the bracket for the gas strut goes, is above where the sliding door is there is a bolt for the roof rack you come 10 inches back off of that bolt and that will be where your um, gas strut bracket sits I forgot to mention that thanks for watching and please subscribe